Hi, Mark Gordon. On Tuesday, January 10th, 2012, with a gold, silver, and spider report. Looking at the GLD, this is the exchange traded fund for gold. Very important day today, up about 1.37%. And we closed above this black dotted line. This is the 200 day moving average. Now, what's significant about that is a lot of traders watch this as a line in the sand. When you're trading below that, um, uh, a lot of traders become very uh, bearish. Uh, I mean, that means they, they don't like uh, that particular stock or ETF. Now, uh, now that we've closed above this, this is a positive sign. Two closes uh, uh, back to back above the 200 day moving average is another positive sign, which could bring more people into the market. Uh, volume has been light. Uh, so it's not a super convincing move, but I like the fact that we are above it. We are also above this red line, which is the 21-day moving average. Shorter-term traders look at this as a line in the sand as well. So um, possibly might be able to bring some shorter-term money into this market and try to get a run back up to this important blue line, the 50-day moving average. And this is probably the most watched moving average line there is and um, certainly uh, starting to trade above the 50-day moving average will be very key. Now, a lot of traders will be taking profits as uh, we approach this line if we do get up there. Um, so this will become overhead resistance uh, unless the market is super strong. And just above that is this line that I have drawn, which is a longer term trend line which shows uh, the tops. So uh, this, uh, this upper trend line, as we call it, it, will be another point of resistance. And then the green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average, another key moving average, will become overhead resistance as well. So gold on its way back up, if it wants to move higher, has got a lot of, uh, a lot of challenges up ahead. But I like the fact that we did close above this all-important 200-day moving average. We also took out 157.53, which is the previous high. So now we are technically in a short-term uptrend, which is a good sign. So um, uh, got my fingers crossed on gold. Uh, this year has uh, turned out to be OK. Uh, we've had a lot of up days, and we are, we are grinding higher so far. Let's see some volume come in, some convincing volume. But uh, gold looking a lot better. And taking a quick look at the GLD on a weekly basis, you can see the overhead resistance coming in at this 40-week moving average, which correlates, of course, to the 200-day moving average. So um, certainly uh, uh, pushing up above this would be a great, great sign here. Um, <clears throat> you can also see that the 10-week, this solid blue line, is still moving lower and it corresponds with this upper trend line here. So lots of work to do on the gold. Let's get above the 40-week moving average, bring more traders to the long side into this market, and let's resume this uptrend. And let's move on to silver. This is the SLV, which tracks the price of silver. Uh, had a good day, up about 3.25%. Uh, gapped higher up above this red line, the 21-day moving average. So uh, taking uh, out uh, our first uh, uh, real overhead resistance we've been up against, uh, we did spend about a week below it, uh, grinding lower uh, in, in kind of mixed volume, but no, no real strong volume, and then popped higher. Good sign today. Nice move here on increasing volume. Uh, our next stop will be this 50-day moving average, this uh, uh, blue solid line here. Um, could get there very quickly. If we do uh, get that, we've got another two moving averages to get above. So we are way below this black dotted line, which is the 200-day moving average. So uh, silver chart looking a lot weaker. Possibly uh, did put down a bot in a bottom here at 2565 on the SLV. Time will tell. Let's see if we can uh, we can take out some of these other moving averages and get uh, get the bull market in silver back uh, back in action. Quick look at the weekly chart. We've gained over four percent on the week, and uh, we are trying to come up here and challenge this ten-week moving average here. That is our next stop, and that is at about thirty dollars. So uh, just up ahead, we have uh, some strong overhead resistance with some key moving averages, like you saw on the daily chart. But uh, silver um, possibly trying to make a run here. Moving on now to stocks. This is the S&P 500, the SPY. This tracks large cap stocks, 500 of them. And uh, you can see we have decidedly broken out of this flag formation here that was forming for a long time. 
Uh, we did have some trouble here. Uh, tapped it uh, three times and finally got above it and then pulled back below, below it and then um, for the last couple of weeks have been trading up above it. Uh, certainly today gapping higher. Uh, uh, up one percent, um, nice move here. You can see this gray area here. This is the Bollinger Band designed to keep prices within it 95 percent of the time. This provides sort of an upper limit to the price run here as we move higher. So coming up off of 120.03, uh, and now we're almost at 130 uh, in uh, just about five weeks. So nice move here uh, on the S&P 500. Uh, stocks uh, uh, looking uh, maybe to have a good. Uh, 2012. We'll have to see. And as you know, in Gold and Ticker, we track uh, the leading stocks uh, of uh, of bull markets, the ones with the great earnings and the great relative strength and all that. And uh, the breakouts that have happened are are mostly holding in place and moving higher. So uh, this confirmed rally uh, looks uh, like it may have some legs here. And uh, 2012 uh, might be a, a better year than 2011, at least in the beginning. So let's see what happens. So that's it for now. Good luck trading, everybody.